tried to get me with Darox, and I killed him. I rolled the Revenant Caves chunk over four months ago. I've made huge progress on the chunk, and in that time I've killed over 50,000 Revenants, amassing nine wilderness weapons. However, none of them have been Vigorous Chain Maces. I have had three crossbows and five hammer and scepters, and people keep asking me, are you going to set a kill count that you will backlog the mace and move on? I've considered it. It makes sense. I can't just stay in the rev caves forever, can I? But what number? 60,000? 75,000? 100,000? What's the limit that I deem acceptable to leave the rev caves? Well, after much deliberation, I've settled on a number where I can leave. I'm not leaving. Infinite Revenants. I'm not leaving. The heat death of the universe will occur before I leave these caves without the mace. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. Cannabis Chunk is a pretty rich account, however, last year I had a far richer account, my Iron Man, that subsequently got hacked for 7 billion GP. Now, I don't know exactly what caused my hack, but one thing is for certain, and that's that my cybersecurity was far from good enough. And that is why I have subsequently purchased NordVPN, who are also sponsoring this video. Now, you play RuneScape, and so... It's highly likely that you have dozens, if not hundreds, of days of time spent working on your account, and to lose all that would be horrifying. Trust me, I lost 200 days of time spent working on my account, all within 15 minutes, with no warning at all. It can happen to anyone. However, it is far less likely to happen to you if you are secure with NordVPN. Nord's implemented threat protection can really help take your security to the next level by protecting against malicious websites, malware, and intrusive ads, whether you're connected or not. Every website you visit or file you download is automatically scanned for threats, giving you peace of mind wherever you are online. NordVPN is also the fastest VPN on the planet, so you won't have anything to blame when you're getting dropped in the inferno. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Other than your own lack of ability. Get NordVPN using my link in the description, nordvpn.com forward slash fray, totally risk free due to their 30 day money back guarantee and also secure a huge discount. I promise it's worth securing your connection. Don't become a hacked idiot like me. Literally cannot stop getting two mil totems at the moment, which is crazy because they're really not that common. Getting one of those is about as common as getting a unique. So, yeah, all of these two mil emblems we've been getting recently could very easily be uniques, but we will always take the two mil GP. Looks nice in the looting bag and will be useful for us in the long run. I feel like the magic seeds have gone up in value a bit. I feel like this drop wasn't always 417k. We'll, we'll take that, though, because that is going to be good farming XP one day in hopefully the far future. Oh, I just got away from a PK up, but we are not in for a fun trip back. Basically, no food and I'm poisoned, so that's going to be good. Is it a mistake to carry on the trip with two food and not much hit points? Probably, but it would be quite satisfying if we refilled our invent with, uh, with food from the Revenants and didn't die and didn't have to bank for more, wouldn't it? So let's give it a go. This guy comes into the room and he says, hi. I go, hi. He goes, hot. I go, oh, he's complimenting my account. Yeah, I guess it's a pretty good account. Or to, I say, T-Y. He goes, hop. I go, oh. Oh, arrogant strikes again. I don't really want to piss him off. Well, he's got 52 agility. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Look at me as I uh, leap across the agility shortcut. Wanker. Right. I reckon this is a busted bot over here. Let's take it out. Well, please be busted. Hopefully if it's broken it will drop its avarice as well. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, I love killing the uh, I love killing the broken bots. Come on, please drop your avarice. Did it? 
Oh, it did. Things you love to see. Look at that. How, why do they break, I wonder? Very interesting. I guess this is slightly complex content with, like, PKs and stuff, so... I guess it makes some amount of sense, but, uh... Easy pickings for me. That is now the third avarice I've got on the alternative account from getting broken bots. Very nice. Aside from killing them, my other favourite bug the bots do is somehow end up attacking each other and they don't have the code to stop. <laughs> so they just stand there forever killing each other. Very, very strange, this bot code. Does anyone know how these notifications work within the Revenant Caves? Because... You see them quite a bit, right? So, for example, I've got both of these accounts logged in, but only this account can see that notification there, um, which I presume means that I'm within range, but this account isn't. But how big is the range? Because that person, Big Farm 721 I said person, I mean bot, isn't in this room, right? So he's clearly somewhere else, probably at the Knights or the Dragons or something. But how far is that range? Because when I used to go to the Rev Caves like a long time ago, I assumed this was for the whole cave, and I was like, oh, God, you hardly see any weapons, do you? Um, but evidently, it's just area-based, but I'd love to know how far the area is and, you know, which air which regions it, like, it overlaps into and stuff like that. So if you know any details on the mechanics of that, let me know. A guy just tried to get me with Darox and I killed him. Oh no, I kind of killed him. Hang on, I need to get that clip. Okay. <laughs> oh god, I need to run away because this guy's oh, totally going to kill me. I oh, know he's not. He's 124 combat. Okay. Lol. <laughs> As if I killed the guy in Darox. <laughs> I need to get over there on my other account to pick it up. Um... Okay, right, I should be able to grab that when I get it. That's so funny. <laughs> so I hit him when I, um, when I, like, ran away from him before, but then he just died from the Revenant hitting him when he logged in. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> oh, God, I need to make sure I get... Okay, right, go, 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 go. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm getting it all because that bot... Did that bot get up something? Imagine if I goes plus one as well, that would have been too funny. <laughs> I can't believe that, that's so funny. I think the bot, yeah, the bot goes fucking axe. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I told the guy to go to Edgeville on his, uh, on his account so I could give him his stuff back. Should I give him his stuff back? Or is this a little bit of payback for all the times they fucked me over? Hmm. Can I can I can I put the crimes of the entire PK race onto this one guy? Does he deserve that? It's a tough choice, isn't it? It's a very fucking tough choice. Yeah, fuck this guy, right? I'm logging out. Screw that. Now, I'm a YouTuber, and I love number go up, so if you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm on the road to 30,000 subs. I reckon we can get there in the next month or two, so please drop a sub if you can. I promise the rest of this video just gets better and better and better. I would have felt sorry for him. I totally would have felt sorry for him, but he tried to kill me and very nearly succeeded killing me on this account, so... Do you know what? Fuck him. <laughs> he hit me for like a 58 and I got away over the shortcut. But I was like 10 HP. What if I'd not had my protect item up and he had one hit me or something? I, he'd have had my crossbow and I'd have just been, you know, flat on my ass. So, yeah, fuck him. I'm keeping his 4 mil. <laughs> Although it's not 4 mil because the bot somehow managed to snipe my, uh, snipe my Darok's great axe. So, yeah, that's like down 1 mil. But aside from that... That's, that is so funny. <laughs> the way it happened as well, getting hit by the fucking Revenant on straight away on login is too funny. What a fool. Oh my god, I'm so happy. That has literally made my day. Oh, fuck. So, why did all that stuff drop? Because I just really, I've just noticed in my invent, 
I've got a fucking loot key for 1.5 mil. What? Where the fuck did that come from? I'm so confused. So what? I got like 3 mil on the alt account from just stuff that dropped to the floor and like 1.4 mil in a loot key? I'm so confused. How do I get... How do I... How do I transfer these to another... I've not even got loot keys on this account. How do I transfer loot keys to another account? Oh, God, I need to figure this out. Okay, right, I'm pretty sure if I just... Oh, no, hang on. I'm pretty sure if I just... Kill my account, like so, that I should get the loot key transferred. We shall see. All right, that's that account dead. And yes, I did get the loot key on the other account. Let's have a look what it involves. What's there? How do I, where do I open them again? <laughs> okay, over here. Right, let's uh, let's open this. See what we got. <laughs> oh my god! Right, so he's clearly killed some bot or something for 1.4 mil, and then I've got that as my loot key for some reason. I don't know why all the other stuff went on the floor. Oh, because he probably had a loot key already, right? And that was what was in the loot key. Okay, right, that's so funny. I cannot believe that. How many avarices do I have now on this account? Probably quite a lot. Yeah, four that I've PK'd. <laughs> right, here goes nothing level one if we can hit 92 hit points which is nearly a big level for us so at level 93 our angler fish will go from healing 17 to healing 23 or 22 one of them um but either way they go from sucking ass to being actually really good so that's going to be big because i've got like a thousand angler fish banked um which is pretty cool um, and I've got like no Manta and no Karamban bank. So it will be nice once the anglerfish are actually useful for me. Uh, but yeah, 92, still level 88 combat. Looks like we can get two more hit points levels, like one more before we get up to level 89. So we've got a little bit of leeway there. Once I hit level 89, uh, you know, I'm thinking I might just get the 60 defense passively here uh, maybe just a long range on the crossbow even though it's kind of inefficient um damage wise it might be worth doing chunk goal wise because then i can just knock out the level 60 on, as a passive thing because obviously i need level 60 to equip the dragon equipment um but yeah that's uh, that's something i'll decide upon at the next hit points level oh oh god i just got a crossbow but this guy just got on me oh fuck oh Oh, he didn't get on me. Luckily, oh my god, I'm so gutted that's not a mace. But it is a crossbow, which means I now have a dupe crossbow, which is very, very good news because I was getting a bit stressed about only having one. Oh, my heart went then when I saw the crossbow on the ground and a PK. I literally logged in at that exact moment. Oh, crossbow. No! Oh, that could have been it there. And then what kill count are we up to? 51,732, four crossbow, six scepters, zero maces. <sighs> oh, we're trying. I'm, I promise I'm trying my best. <laughs> Please. Go on, go on. Kill these imps and just get the uh, get the crossbow here and now. That would be, uh, that would be, I mean, not the crossbow, the mace. Oh, and dupe crossbow. <sighs> okay. That is good, because I did lose my second one in, uh, or my, you know, I've lost two, and now, I, now I've got a second one that I still have. Um, so that means I can be slightly less stressed about losing it, which is very good news. Um, but we take it. It's better than Scepter, because it is actually useful to us. So we'll chuck that in the bank. Lovely jovely. Okay, okay, right. Not the best thing but that is the second best thing we could have got oh and i just noticed we are also up to 600 of all of the rune items 720 rune plate legs as well that's a pretty big value uh how many items is that 1200 1900 3100 rune items i'll tell you what if we could unlock giant's foundry that would be a shitload of xp 
Oh, my friend just came in out to Vigora's chain mace and dropped the coins. I've officially, I've officially become a meme. Please, can I just get the mace now? What the fuck? This guy in the clan chat has also got the rev chunk. And I, he went, oh, can you bless me for a crossbow? I said, yeah, sure, man. Crossbow shall be yours. And he's fucking got one like 30 minutes later. What the fuck? That's huge. Congrats, man. Congrats. Hopefully I'll be next. So the friend gets the crossbow. I get the ancient totem. Although I don't know why I'm moaning about my friend getting a crossbow because I got a crossbow like really recently. <laughs> Probably like two minutes ago for you guys. Oh, I guess we take the one meal though. Very nice. Very nice. I guess we get another one. Uh, literally no time since the last one. You can see there because it says Ancient Totem 2. So literally in this chat window. Uh, I believe in this login as well. So 2 in 23 minutes. Not too bad. Oh, I don't know how many that is now. 20 something of those. <laughs> they just keep coming in and are totally useless. But they do technically count as a unique. Oh, I forgot to say, yeah, last night I got 81 Fletching and quite a lot of the way to 82. I think I've got 83 banked in U-Logs at the moment. Um, which is good because I don't really want to use my Magic Logs yet because I want to get the most bang for my buck with the Magic Logs and I can do that by uh, only Fletching Magic Longbows starting at level 85 Fletching. So I need to get 85 just off the use and then use the Magics to finish off level 87 and then that will be the chunk gold done. And then as far as levels are concerned, we are done. Aside from 60 defense, which is basically a nothing grind. So very exciting that we're getting quite close to the end of this chunk. Any kill now could be the Vigorous Chain Mace. And then from there, we are pretty much done. Right. I've had reports from a friend of mine, Sarim Chunker, who is also in the Rev Caves chunk, that apparently the bots will hop if you have a Dragon Dagger in your invent on the chunk account. So we've seen in the past that the bots do not hop away from this account if I've got a crossbar equipped, right? They don't see me as a threat or whatever. I'm not, I'm clearly not on the list. So what I'm going to do is grab a dragon dagger and just see if they can somehow read that that's in my invent and that make them hop. If they can, that's fucking nuts. Right, so I'm going to log out on the alternative account and just see if the bots hop away from me. And if they do, there is some fucking scary script going on if they can read your invent. So right, let's log out on that account and see when the bots log in what happens. Okay, looks like they aren't. Okay, good, good. That's That means the bots are slightly less scary and my friend must clearly just be on a list or something. So... That's fine, yeah, look, when I log in on that account, they all run away. Okay, cool. So, the bots aren't as scary as we thought and aren't as clever as we thought. Good times. I mean, to be fair, though, that might not actually be true because this account doesn't need to have the DDS equipped for people to run away. It just has to have it in the invent. So, there's one of two scenarios where, or three scenarios, it can read the invent, but my account, this account, look, see, that one's going to log out, even though that's not got a DDS equipped. So there's three scenarios. Either it can read the invent, but my account is on a he's a PVM, I don't bother logging out or running away list. Um, option one. This account is on some kind of list that's like, that's a PK, I log out no matter what, which I don't think is the case. Because if I don't ha have a DDS on me on that account, they don't run away from it. Um, so I think maybe they can read the invent, but they've just put me on a list that's like, this guy isn't attacking us, this guy isn't a threat, like don't bother looking out basically no matter what he does, unless he attacks us or whatever. Um, in fact, no, because they attack me back. If I attack them, they, they attack me back. Whereas if I attack them on this account, they run away. So there's definitely some kind of username list somewhere one way or the other and i think it's likely default yeah i think it likely defaults to run away if there's a melee weapon equipped or whatever or they read a dds in the invent and then 
you know, they will add you manually if you are very clearly a PBMer, which I obviously am. Like, I've got 52,000 kill count and I've been here for months. Like, as a bot farm, they will know this account. So that's very interesting. Okay, next working theory is this guy can equip a DDS and has done and made the bots run away. I now reckon that if you have ever equipped a DDS in their presence, they then know that you can do and therefore add you to the, you know, the PKR list. So that's what I reckon is the problem. So if this account could equip a DDS, I probably could become self-sufficient, uh, self but maybe not. Although I guess the real question is now, do they run away from his account whether he has a DDS on him or not? If he if it does, it like it only runs away when he has the DDS, then yeah, they are reading the invent, which again is scary. No! Someone really close by just got a Vigorous Chain Mace! Oh, why couldn't it be me? Why couldn't it be me? Must be at the Knights over there or something. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I just noticed we've gone past 2,000 bracelets of Ethereum, which not only are worth 88 mil, but also if I break those down into Ether, that is over half a million Ether, 500,000 shots of crossbow. Um, so that should serve me well after this chunk. It means I can use the, re uh, the rev weapons a lot outside the chunk. So if I got something like Barrows, which would be ideal, I'd have f basically 500,000 casts of the Thamarin's, uh, Thamarin's Scepter, which would be massive. So yeah, that is a very, very tasty stack. And that is a third one of those this morning. <laughs> right on these is crazy. I think it's one of the most common things we can get. Um, something like a one in 1.7 or something like that. But to get three of them in one morning is quite rare, I guess. Uh, 3 mil GP though. Pretty nice. Oh my god, I've escaped this guy like three fucking times in a row. Leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got him with the old fakey. Love that, love that. Come on, let's do it. Come on, please. Easy, easy, easy. Surely, surely. Yeah, he's given up because he knows what's happening. <laughs> okay, looked out. <laughs> you cannot beat the rock. The rock is the goat. No, he's got me. No, he's got me. He literally outsmarted me. He logged he lo back in and out of that world. Right, let's go. Okay, I think I'm going to try and fake him, see if that works. Yeah! <laughs> See ya! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm literally too smart. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally dying. Oh my god. Oh, that was so good, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> the Uno reverse on the on who on who outsmarted me was just too good. There, he took it well. To be fair, on the uh, on the on the alternative account, he was like he was like xding and lolling. So I'll give it to him. He took it well, but oh, that was too good. Oh, I love doing that so much. The fact I've got zero food as well just makes it even better because it was literally like if he'd not done that he would have definitely killed me that's so f <laughs> I, j I just want to make clear this has all happened in about three hours i've had four of these in about three hours that is mental that is really mental please can we get something else <laughs> please right a guy keeps logging in over there like with darox and stuff and i reckon he might like hop to another world and try and kill me in a minute so if this clip is never mentioned again, he didn't. If uh, I kill a guy in Darox shortly, then he did. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course I typed something totally wrong in the chat and then uh, and then get a clip that I've got to record. 
two mil emblem. We like to see those free money. We always take the free money. I think the bank value is now getting up to three quarters of a billion GP on a chunk man account. Will we hit the one bill? It's probably it's not looking that unlikely now. The average loot from a, a revenant demon and revenant cyclops is about twenty five k. So we'd only have to go another ten thousand dry and not die meaningfully to any PKers, um, to get what one billion GP. That would be nuts. And almost all of it is in stuff that's like pretty much alkable. So we would literally have in excess of 500 mil in just pure cash. I do like the green cape because it looks almost exactly like the Guthix god cape. So I think people think that I've got like magic gear on me when I'm wearing it, but it looks pretty nifty as well, doesn't it? <laughs> I kill the bot and the bot, like, oh, well, I didn't kill a bot. I killed a demon that a bot had already mostly damaged. And it dropped an ancient totem that's now just on the floor and I can't pick up on this account. That's very funny. I'll have to just pick it up on the out. Well, I guess that's an easy one mil. Not too bad. This is so free. Ah, oh, they're so predictable. Oh, no, he got the freeze, though. Oh, no, he's 120 combat, so I might be able to run south. Uh, uh, this is not a great situation, to be honest. Shall we do? Just leg it. Ugh. That's not good. I think I'm fucked. I probably should. If I'd run south straight away, I might have been able to get him. It's hard because sometimes I just try and run before I read their combat levels, and that can kind of help to save me a bit. Um, right, what I'm thinking is I'm going to go over, back, to the left, and then run south. Oh, fun. Oh, unlucky with the pathing. <laughs> oh, they're always good. Oh, okay, lucky. Oh, we just hit 70 days playtime on this account, which means we've been in this chunk for 40 days. We're approaching a thousand hours in this chunk. Will we get there? Almost certainly. But that is absolutely crazy. Oh, the pink four mil emblem always gets me like it always because I know that I'm pretty sure the chain mace is going to say, you know, vigorous chain mace three point something something mil. So the four mil emblem always, always gets me. Oh, one day that will be the drop. Uh Looks nice on the ground. Love the pink text. Always nice to get the pink text, no matter what it is. Well, the scepter's pissed me off, but the uh, the GP's always nice and just oh, I just love pink text, man. It just looks so good. Look at that thing. Oh, thing of beauty. Let's grab it and get out of here. Oh, 103 range, 19.3 mil XP. How much further are we gonna have to push it? Hopefully, not much, cause uh. It's getting slightly painful. Loving all the U-log drops, though. I've just got two back-to-back -back 64 U-logs. That's like, you know, uh, nearly 5k fletching XP, which is just massive for me. So hopefully we can get more of those if we're not going to get the drops that we actually want. Oh, we just can't. We just cannot stop getting ancient totems, can we? We will take the one mil. Come on, I really want to get the two items on the floor at once. Just getting that once would be really, really nice. Uh, let's hope we can kill this somewhat quickly, please. Okay, right, there we go. Grab those lore runes. Go on, drop a weapon right now. If this is the Begora's Chain Mace, I'll go mental. Okay. Uh, let's go chuck this in the bank. We're probably getting pretty close to a full invent of those things, uh, in the bank, which is pretty mad. So, incoming, we have level 83 Fletching, which is Four levels away from the goal that we need, which is 87 for the magic shield. Now, to get to level 85, which is the level that I can then make magic longbows, I need about just under 8,000 U-logs. So, I've got 1,300 of those, so we actually need about 6,700 
Um, by my calculations, based on the last twenty-two thousand rev kill count, uh, you get about zero point six six U logs per kill. So to get sixty-seven hundred more, I need to do roughly ten thousand more kills, which would take us up to. 64,000-ish. So by the time I'm 64,000, I will have the U-logs to get up to level 85 fletching. I will also have almost all of the magic logs that I need to get to level 87, um, because they will translate to 91 each, I believe, uh, which should be enough. I think I did the calculation, it was something like 7,000 I needed to get to level 87. So yeah, by, by the time we reach 64,000 rev skill count is when we should be getting... The XP for 87 fletching. Good news. But if I get the Vigorous Chain Mace way before then, we're going to have to do some ends. But let's face it, if we've done 54,000 and not got it, what's the chances that we do 64,000 and don't get it? Probably quite high. So yeah, 64,000 is the magical number for the fletching grind. But other than that, we're hoping to get the mace as quickly as possible. More ancient crystals. We love to see them. We can ne oh wait no we don't we hate to see them as if some guy with fucking normal void has got 89 agility are you fucking kidding me surely he's gonna come across is he is he is this guy stupid is he dumb evidently right this guy's kind of working me. I've failed getting him across a couple of times. So I'm going to try the fakey. See how it goes. Come on. Right. This is basically it. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh, the head banging on the wall. He knows he got cleared. Oh, that is one of my best ones yet. Oh, that's so good. Hey, the six magic seeds drop just hit 500k in value. Things you love to see. The green text is uh, underappreciated, I would say. But uh, that's pretty much a full invent, isn't it? Yeah, 900k in there, another, what, 600k in the looting bag. Let's bank all of that. Right, I reckon I've got another broken bot over here. Let's go get him. Oh. Oh, no, he just couldn't, he couldn't see the out. Never mind. <laughs> More ancient crystals. We love to see them. How many is it actually now? I genuinely don't know. Let's have a look. 24. Four more to go until a full invent. Will we get there? Hopefully not. Oh. Oh. Another roll on the unique table. Another not mace. Amulet of Avarice. At least it's pretty useful for us. I'll chuck it in the bank for now, but, oh, that's painful. That is painful. Oh, I'll probably use it at some point. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, am I sad? I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of brutal, though. One of these days, one of these days, we will get the mace. All right, how many do I have? Have I only got one left? I think so. Yeah, so that's a, that's a dupe one. Uh, so I may use that up with a crossbow. I feel like that might be a waste. Um, I've started doing revenants in the evening with like on mobile just a little bit. And I've currently just been using a maple short bow and that's it. Like no plus one. Um, but potentially I might use the avarice because I'm not that bothered about losing it. So if I get smited for it, it's not the end of the world. Although I have to do it in high risk worlds on mobile because I don't have an alt to make the bots telly. So... That may not actually work. Um, hmm. We might use that at some point. We'll see. I hit 20 million range XP whilst on mobile. That's a pretty big milestone, isn't it? It's probably quite feasible that we might go double 99. 26 mil XP before getting this mace. Genuinely, when I started this chunk at, what, 30 range? I did not think we would get anywhere near numbers this ridiculous hopefully though that's the last 10 mil milestone if i get to 30 mil range xp i'm gonna be depressed to strong word but you know what i mean <laughs> one of the bots that i just so i just logged in on this world and one of the bots just got an ancient totem like as i logged in 
I'm not entirely sure he's going to have picked that up. Um, it's going to spawn over here, I think, if it's going to spawn at all. Hopefully it will. Oh, I don't know, actually, he might have got it. I only saw, the, saw it on this account, and it's this account that they run from. I logged in, like, ever so slightly later on this account, so it might have just grabbed it by a tick. Oh, that's so gutting. That could have been a free mil. Oh, broken bot by the look of it. Let's go get stuck in. Come on. I mean, it definitely is, but we can't hit anything. Brilliant. All of our specs are wasted and we've not hit anything. Oh, for sake. Weak hits, to say the least. Come on, I want the free avarice. This would appear to actually be a real person for once, which is exciting. Although he is slightly out of range, so maybe it's not. And the bot goes down. What did we get? Did we get the avarice? Oh, we didn't get the avarice because the prayer didn't quite run out before it did. But we got the 100k and some loot like room plate legs and whatever. So not too bad. If I had to pick one kind of PK to not have to go against, it'd be this kind of person. Hopefully that splashes. No. Okay, so we're going to go for our classic, you know, fakey over the thing. Uh, not fakey. We'll go for the Duke first, and then if that doesn't work, we'll go for the uh, we'll go for the fakey. Okay, he did range, which is bad for him. Might get away with that. Doubt it. Doubt it. Oh, we did get it. <laughs> that one is a bit nerve wracking. I had a lot of food though, so we were kind of okay. Oh, see, it's kind of foolproof, that technique. Really is quite good. Now, this may look like a fairly innocuous kill. However, what it actually is, is kill count number 55,000. <sighs> How much more dry can we go? <laughs> like, come on, please, please. The worst part is my unique rate is actually decent. Like, I probably have about the right amount, if not slightly more. So I'm not unlucky in that sense. I'm not really owed loads of uniques or anything, but I've just got unlucky in their distribution. Um, I don't, How many have I got now? Uh, 15 or something? Uh, yeah, 15 uniques. What is the odds of getting 15 uniques and the Vigorous Chainmace not being one of them? Surely not. Surely, surely really, really low. <laughs> okay, it is peak time, which is a bit miserable. But luckily, I'm in, I've managed to snag myself two spots in World 330, which is full. Like, literally full. So hopefully, that means that no PKers can log in and kill me. My only slight worry is this guy, but I think he was here getting the uh, Maledictus that was just spawned in. Um, now that that's gone, I'm hoping those guys will all leave and this will be relatively calm because no uh, PKs can hop in, hopefully. <laughs> Although I did get in two accounts in, so it's probably not that foolproof, but hopefully they just can't be bothered. Well, that lasted all of no time at all. <laughs> Do a jig and a jive. It's all the fives. I mean, that's just bizarre. <laughs> Why is there a black knight here? <laughs> People do some odd stuff. Do you ever have that thing where you're driving a car, right? And like two minutes later, you're like, oh my God, I can't remember anything that I did during that time. But you've somehow successfully driven, uh, you know, a few miles without really even paying attention to what happened. I'm getting that now with Revenants. It's like, I know I've been here for half an hour. I, I literally can't remember any of it. It's bizarre. Oh, the green text got me a little bit. I thought I'd got another Avarice. The six magic seeds though, that's pretty big. I get so many of those from specifically the Cyclops for some reason. I've got double the amount of kills on the demons and yet I've got more magic seeds from the cyclopses very weird but i think that takes us up to about 175 magic seeds which is what 2 million farming xp i think which is pretty crazy isn't it really wow 
2 million farming XP. I don't know if I'd ever need that. Well, I guess if I roll 9 on farming, but that's pretty far away. 2 million farming XP. Another day at Revstun. Look at this looting bag. 1 million GP without any dragon plate legs or anything. I guess I've got the 6 magic seeds in there, which is most of it. So that was actually a kind of pointless clip. But I want to see if we've managed to get up to 800 mil in the bank today. I think there's probably a decent chance that we did. 800 mil, exactly. That's fucking crazy. Just look at the loot tab. That's a disgrace. <laughs> Oh, I said, uh, I said 175 magic seeds, didn't I? Actually, 183. <laughs> that is getting kind of out of hand now, isn't it? Especially considering they're like 1 in 1.5k to get between like 3 and 6 of them. Uh, so that's kind of ridiculous. You know they're rarer than the U seeds as well. Or they're, in fact, sorry, they're the same rarity, but you get slightly more of them. So, yeah, that's a, that's an odd bit of RNG right there. Nearly at the 800 rune plate legs as well. I was just kind of joking when I said, oh, maybe I'll hit a thousand before getting the mace, but it's not looking exactly unlikely now, is it? That is the first emblem I've had in about 1300 kills, and it's the fucking 500k one that's the, basically the same rate as the other ones, like the good ones. <sighs> if that's indicative of the RNG for the rest of this video, I'm going to be sad. Nice little lampy lamp we just got from Camp Check. Chuck that onto Slayer, and that is level 27. Do you, do I do I think I can get to 45? Probably. There's a lot of lamps these days, especially once I leave the wilderness and I can get the outfit lamps as well. Because in the wilderness, I've not even finished the random event collection log, even though I've got over 70 days because I wasn't getting them before they updated them to include lamps. And since they include them to get lamps, I've been in the wilderness pretty much the whole time, and you can't get the teleport random events here. So I need to finish off all the outfits, and then I'll start getting lamps in all of those as well. I just need an outsider wilderness grind, which hopefully we can get next. Damn it, I missed the level, but that is 93 hit points. Six levels away from 99, but crucially, now Anglerfish heal me for 23. So 69 hit points, eat that. Up to not, not 23, 22 for fuck's sake. There's not 23 healing food. I'm think I think I'm thinking of Rocktail from RS3, but I'll be honest, I'm not even entirely sure they heal 23 either. Um, but yeah, anglers are now actually very good for us. Better now than manta rays because even though they heal the same at 22, uh, the anglerfish can overheal. So anglerfish now officially 100% better in every scenario. So. That's big, because I've got about 800 of them in the bank, and I've got about 12 Manta Ray. So, yeah, that's good news. I'll tell you what, max healing up to 115. That is safe feeling. That's the same as, like, you know, 99 hit points plus a brew. This account, combat-wise, is now actually kind of outrageous. I, it kind of snuck up on me, because I started this chunk with 30 range and, like, you know, 55 magic or whatever. But 99 range, 95 magic, 93 hit points. That's nuts. Once we get the mace and like an actual grind to do with the mace as well, we're going to be balling combat-wise. Oh, log out. Seeing as I'm 93 hit points, which is what, about 55, 60% of the way to 99? Um, that would mean that, I, and I've got 56,000 revenant kills right now, that would mean 100,000 revs would be about 99 hit points. So, I mean, that would obviously be awful, like one of the worst things that could happen. But I tell you what, 100,000 revs is a video title, that fucking slaps. Um, but that would be pretty cool. 100,000 revs and 99 hit points. Please let me avoid that. But if it does happen, that is at least cool. Okay, so I've messed about with some of the audio settings, and I'm hoping that this is going to be sounding a lot better. So from this point forward in the video, I'm going to be using some slightly different audio settings. Let me know if this sounds better to you. Like, and if it does, fantastic news. Um, does it still need a bit of work? If it does, that's fine, because um, I kind of know what I'm doing now. Um, but just let me know if this is noticeably better or not. And if it is noticeably better, is it fine for people with headphones? I know it's basically fine anyway without 
headphones. But with headphones, is this fine? Let me know. Thank you. Oh, I'd hit 21 mil range XP as well and hadn't noticed. 21 mil. 8 mil past 99. Oh, make it stop. Oh, that's a shame. One of the bots got dragon plate legs and ran away before it could uh, it could pick them up. Oh, I feel bad for... Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh, that's not a good time for this guy to find me. Uh, four anglers left. Uh, okay, um, just, just not get smited. He's almost certainly going to kill me, but we shall try our best. Um, right. Yeah, we're so bugged. <laughs> best name is he splashes. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. Go on, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> As if we got away. As if we got away with that one. Oh my god, that's so lucky. Oh, the surprise levels come in. Level 104 range. How high is it going to get? Hopefully not too much higher. Come on. Please. <laughs> Please. How do so many of them show up straight away? Like, the, the people that kill these. Like, this just spawned on top of my head. And within uh, less than 20 seconds, there were four people trying to kill it. Do they, like, have scouts or what? Oh, he's trying to kill me. Lol. Why are they always like this? Why can they never just leave a boy alone? Ah, uh, you lost your chance to kill the Maledictus now. Unlucky! Uh, I'm going to have to log out now. Whoops. Oh, he actually got the kill as well. I saw it down the bottom. Ah, oh, that's gutting. Right, I'm definitely not trying that again. Not worth it. Like, the chart... Like, for some reason... I've seen people do it before, though. Like, you know, normal players. Um, You know, a Maledictus spawns in and they just kill it and no other guys show up. But I have never seen it that a load of people just haven't turned up straight away so i don't really know what i can do about that i don't think i'll ever kill one it would have been nice because i feel like it's sort of a very a very very soft chunk requirement like obviously it's not and it would only be a supreme requirement to get drops from it but it would have been nice to kill one but i just don't, genuinely don't think it's possible with the scouts that people have Oh, I forgot to mention, last night I got up to 84 fletching, which means I only need about, well, I need 300k's worth of logs. I've got kind of a few hundred U logs in the bank, so really not too many to go. Once I get those, I pretty much have the magic logs that I need to get from level 85 to level 87, so that will absolutely fly by. I think it will be in excess of like 160, 170k per hour. So, yeah, we're nearly done with the fletching grind as well. So, yeah, this chunk is almost entirely done aside from the mace, which could happen at any point in theory. Will it be this kill? Maybe. It wasn't. That's happened to me literally 58,000 times. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully we get it soon and we can wrap up the chunk. Oh, go on. We just escaped a PK and got the sandwich lady asking for a baguette. Go on, stale baguette me. Why is it never the stale baguette? Okay, he's kind of working me. Um, hate the ancient god swords. Uh, but I think he's quite newbie, so... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love those ones. Those are the best. It's just like, oh, it's such a middle finger to the PKs. Love it. Something about this guy just comes off quite newbie. So, uh, I'm going to say that and he's going to smite me or something, isn't he? Let's recross. I think that might work. Oh, God, I probably could just run away there. Oh, as if he catches that one. Of course he does. Oh, I'm so gutted. Come on. Stop fucking maxing me with the fucking god sword. Is that a good PK aim to just whack someone with the god sword over and over? Evidently. I mean, he's absolutely debating me, so. He's too stupid. Like, like, it's not that he's doing well. He's actually doing badly, and that's what means that he can't kill me. Like, he's unpredictable because he's so slow and keeps fucking whacking me with a god sword. Who does that?
This is where my 40 defense really hurts me badly. Come on, please splash, 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 splash. Oh! Come on, is this a zero food escape? I think it is. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. You love to see that. 500k emblem. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I haven't had a decent emblem in a while. I've literally only been getting the really, really small ones. I'm hoping I can, because I'm trying to get to a one bill bank. I feel like that would be really, really cool. And I definitely need the like, you know, four, eight, six mil emblems to do that. So hopefully I can pull some of those soon because they are so nice to get in comparison to the 500k one. Okay, we might be able to use this guy's abysmal gear against him. Uh... He'll probably splash a decent amount because he's got shit gear. Hopefully we can use that. Uh, let's see. If he splashes that one, we might be good. Mm, don't think so. Oh, he was a bit slow. See, abysmal gear. Look at me. I can read the situations like an absolute G. You're not going to get me with a reverse back. Don't worry. Oh, maybe you will. Oh, God. All right. All right, we're not we're not playing particularly well right now. It has to be said. Uh, are we gonna get away with this one? I really don't think so, to be honest. Uh, we got. Uh, do we have a D? Oh, we got a five hundred k emblem on us. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, uh, come on. This just is not playing well right now. This is not a good place to be. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would fall for a fakey either. Hopefully if he... Oh! Oh! Uh! Uh! Oh, the Australian world was really, really hurting me there. I think that's how he kind of hooked me the first time because my clicks are so delayed because of the ping. Oh, lucky. Yeah, that would have been a sad looting bag to lose. Look at that, six U-seeds as well. Good thing we didn't. No! No! <laughs> Make it stop! Make it stop! Please! Seven! Seven of those fucking things! Oh my god! When is it going to fucking end? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what is the KC now? 58,300. Seven fucking scepters. Zero maces. You are taking the fucking piss. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, when is it going to end? When is it actually going to end? Right, <laughs> let's chuck it in the bank with all the others. Six. Oh, let's just de-uncharge this one so that we can, uh, we can take a real good look at it. Look at that stack there. That is mental. How have I got seven? Seven scepters and zero maces. Seven. I'm actually, uh, um, I can't take any more. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my God. Seven. Seven. I'll tell you what though. Road to uh, 10 scepters is very much on. I mean, come on. If you can get, uh, if you can get seven in a row without getting a mace. What's stopping 10? I feel like 10 scepters would be like such a mega meme. I could have one on each of my fingers. That would be kind of cool. I just logged in. I literally, right, look at the time. Look, 49 seconds. I literally just logged in, killed one fucking thing, and got no. Fuck off! Oh, you're taking a piss. You're taking a fucking piss. Oh my god, get in the fucking bin. Oh my god, right, I'm gonna have to kill one more. Can we spoon just another weapon back to back? I, I just logged in.
Stop! I might, I might actually die. I might, I might. <sighs> That's eight, eight scepters. Stop, please. Yeah, you won't be so cocky, Jeff, when I come into the office with a Kalashnikov and 200 rounds of ammunition. What is that? What is that? Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? <laughs> I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Imagine if that had been the mace. I'd literally logged in and got it first kill. Oh. Oh, God. God. How has this happened again? How has this happened again? <laughs> I just... What is going on? I just killed a fucking imp on the way out and got a one mil tension. Um, oh, what is going on? What is going on? I, make it fucking stop. Make it fucking stop. Imagine if that had been the mace on the way out from the imp. Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Safe to say that was one of the most bizarre four minutes of gameplay I've ever had. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Back up to eight scepters now in the collection log. Let's have a look at that. That that was probably what, two, three hundred kills after the last one. <sighs> I'm literally dying here. Like, what is going on? Oh, another ancient crystal. How many of those have we had now? Let's take a little look. Twenty-five. Three away from a full invent. That would be rather exciting, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm gonna switch to a PVP world. Just be. I don't think it's high risk. No, it's not high risk. <laughs> Imagine if it was and I lost my crawls by that would be a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, I'm going to switch to PvP world because normally they can be quite quiet. If PKers do show up, it does kind of screw me because the wilderness level is 15 higher than it otherwise would be. So level 126s can get on me here when they can't in regular worlds. But I feel like the quiet and the no bots will probably outweigh that. Hopefully. Fuck, I've done that thing when I clicked log in by accident. I need to log out ASAP. Oh, yes, he already crossed. <laughs> oh, God, I clicked, like, log in by accident, and it's really, really painful. Oh, fuck, I need to log out. Okay. <laughs> we got away with that one. That's not good. I wish that it was crossbows that I couldn't stop getting. If I had eight crossbows, that'd be nice, because not only would I have six in the bank that I could lose quite comfortably, but also that would be worth so much more than the scepters. I think the bows are about 14 mil, and the scepters are about two. So I'd be way, way closer to the goal of 1 billion GP bank value. Obviously, I do actually have... I've got slightly more than that overall, but I spent so much of it getting 95 magic. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to have probably quite... Unless we get the mace, like, now, we're going to have generated, like, well over a bill in GP from the Revenants, you know, and me getting PK'd for crossbows, spending it on magic, and also just dying for regular loot as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited to become an extreme one-chunk billionaire, but I need to stop getting, uh, stop getting scepters and start getting bows instead. Oh, yet another one of the ancient crystals. That'll be 26 that we've got now. Brutal. Oh, you love to see the cheeky little bracelet as you leave the caves on the out, uh, on the from the imps. Very nice, decent little looting bag as well. Don't mind me just roasting a guy in the chat. <laughs> That's my normal tactic I go for in the shit talking. Just this sort of like um, patronising. Um, oh, it must be so bad being you. You know, I can't imagine being as poor as you. <laughs> That's my usual tactic. Oh, I just realised we've hit 22 million range XP as well. 
four mil to go until double 99. I'm guessing we're going to get a uh, level 105 range at some point before what? About round 24 mil as well. So at least that's something to look forward to, isn't it, guys? Oh, this isn't a fun one. I reckon this is going to culminate. Why didn't that recross? What? Yeah, this is definitely a death. <laughs> Every day of the week, this is a death. <laughs> no way do we get away with this. Maybe the fakie will work. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, oh, did we? Oh, no, and I'm on the wrong side to do a good fakie again. Uh, nah, no way we get this. And run. What? What's he doing? <laughs> as if that happened. Out of food. How much have I got in the looting bag as well? 500k. That's very funny. See ya. Oh, bit of a uh, Chad PK here. Uh, doesn't look like he's too good. Which is a good thing. Go on. He was so slow that he fucked... Is this the guy that just swings the fucking god sword over and over? Is this the same guy? I can't remember. As if he was so slow that... That I basically got away. Am I going to get away again here? No. Sad. It's so sad when they actually have good gear, but they're crap because it actually makes it harder to <laughs> harder to escape the worse they are the harder it is for me to escape in this kind of janky way come on it's 111 combat which is a kind of irritating combat level um Doubt we're gonna get that. Oh my god, so irritating. Leave me alone. Why are these losers always here? Like, have you not got anything better to do? Evidently not. As if the shortcut killed me. <laughs> oh god, they fucking wind me up though. I hate them. Oh, 16 mil emblem. I would have preferred the mace, obviously, but that's probably my second favourite thing I want at the minute. A crossbow would also be nice, but I will take the 16 mil for the bank value. I think that's going to put us up to about 840 mil, something like that. That's really getting out of hand, but yeah, we, we shall take the ancient relic. Oh, they look good on the ground as well, don't they? Oh, we made it back to the bank. Let's chuck it in. Do we have anything? Oh, we had some alright stuff in there as well. Very nice. There we go. 837 mil plus the crossbow that I'm equipped. So, yeah. 850 mil bank on an extreme one chunk. That loot tab there is just berserk, isn't it? Like, the ancient relics. 112 mil just in relics. How much is it in bracelets? 101 mil just in bracelets. I mean, the dragon plate, I mean, like the rune plate legs, like 33 mil worth of rune plate legs. It is bonkers. Bonkers. <laughs> that happened literally no time after getting the relic. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. An extra two mil for the bank value. I guess I'll go and bank that. I mean, yeah, what's in the looting bag? Yeah, basically nothing. Oh, two mil. Stonks. I tell you what, I got absolutely nothing for ages and ages and ages, like thousands of kills. And then out of nowhere, I've pulled two scepters, a 16 mil and a 2 mil, all in significantly less than 24 hours, I'll tell you that. So, pretty cool. Okay, it's this chump again, and I've got more food than I've got prayer, so I need to be careful if I don't escape and let myself die... Before I run out of prayer, because that would not be a good look to uh, get smited for no reason. So let's hope that we get away with this. 
Right. Maybe. Oh, I should have like darted to that side. Oh, right. Come on. I might be all right on the prayer front, actually. Uh, I'll do this then. He's so slow. Like most people would try and preempt me going across, but this guy doesn't. Ah, oh, fucking bell end, honestly. Oh, he nearly got dragged out of range then. That could have been good. Uh, I, I've never met a PK who just uses mage and a fucking ancient god sword. Like, what is that? It's so rogue. Oh, God. Like, he's so slow with it. How does he have, like, infinite spec as well? I do not get it. Um... Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> That's one way to die. Oh, I hate that guy so much. Oh, 500, 500k emblem. Oh, so bleak. So rare, and yet so worthless. At least, you know, relative to other things that I can get. It's weird, because some chunk men would absolutely kill for 500k GP. Like, that would absolutely revolutionise. I mean, I would have done earlier in this account, right? When I was killing snails for GP so that I could get 80 cooking, I'd have died for 500k in cash. But right now, not so great. So, the bank is looking pretty spectacularly big. 855 mil. Um, but we've also ticked over 7,800 magic logs. So, 85 to 87 magic plus one to create or plus two to create the magic shield is 7802 magic logs so that means we can now start using our magic logs to create uh magic short bows which are an, only an 80 rank so we'll make those down to we've got a 7.8k stack and we'll also use all other logs that we've got such as these u logs there that's about 100k xp so we're really not very far away from having the 87 fletching goal knocked out, which is massive. Oh, the one mil emblem. It wouldn't be a good day without one, would it? <laughs> well, I guess we'll go bank that. What's the looting bag? Oh, we literally just got here. That's so annoying having to go and bank that. Oh, well. Oh, ancient crystal what? Number 27. One more until we've got the full invent of ancient crystals. That is crazy. Oh, 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 Amulet of Avarice. Good to get one, good to get one. 763k. Could have been a unique, uh, could have been the mace though. But we take it. I might just equip it and stay. Shall I do that? If we lose it, we lose it. What's, what's the worst that's going to happen? Well, I equip it and lose it straight away. That would be pretty bad. But it'll be fun for while it lasts. God, it's so good having the Avarice, because I absolutely love pumping the 40s, and I absolutely love being able to pick up just anything and everything and chucking it in the looting bag noted. So, so nice. Oh, that shit me up. I was, like, looking at the Revenant, thinking, oh, I'm going to get a Vigorous Chainmace, and I saw the pink text. Oh, 16 mil emblem, though. We will take that. That's pretty, pretty nice. Good bank value. Let's grab that and get out of here. Huge GP. Casual 16 mil. You are absolutely right, Uncle Chunk. Oh, 11 of those we've had in total now. 176 mil on this account in pure cash just from that one item on the collection log. Crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, it feels nice dropping a looting bag like this into the bank. Plus 17 mil in value. Shall I keep the avarice on me? I don't really want to lose it, but I've also got two extras in the bank, so what's the harm, really? I don't think you, you can't break them down into ether, so it doesn't really matter if I lose them, and they're only really useful in the Revenant Caves, except as a glory outside of the wilderness. So I think I might just stick with this invent setup, and you know, when we die, we die. Something tells me I'm probably not going to take it as flippantly as that when I actually die, and I'll probably get annoyed, but <laughs> that's all. Die!
you fucking taking the piss? As if that just dropped. For fuck's sake. Oh, I'm just in the chat giving it the fucking big and like, yeah, I'm never going to stop. Wee. I've got a good feeling of that today. Are we dropping another fucking crossbow? I can't fucking stop. <laughs> As if I've not got, as if I've avoided the mace roll again. That's four weapons rolled in this video with no mace. What in the fuck is happening? I'm literally flabbergasted as if we got another crossbow. Make it stop, please. <laughs> Go on, let's kill the let's kill the imps on the way out and see if we can get get the get something good. That'd be funny. I can't believe I did that earlier in the video. That was fucking crazy. Okay, we'll chuck that into the bank, and there are our two duplicate crossbows. At least that's good for the bank value, so I'm happy about that. Bank value now up to what 876 mil plus the 12 mil crossbow that we've got on. So roughly 890 mil right now. Really closing in on the one bill. Oh. That's that's good because it, it does mean if I get smited for another crossbow, like I've got numerous backups, so I'm feeling very safe in the Revenant Caves now. I feel like I can relax, and relaxing means I can get more kills per hour. So yeah, relatively happy with that. In case it wasn't obvious from that clip, uh, that that crossbow was what three four five minutes maybe after getting the relic <laughs> so at least the luck is kind of turning around right i just saw oh for fuck's sake maledix this is a scary no i'm not going to try and kill it that's really stupid that's just going to result in me getting killed for my avarice so no i'm not going to do that i am going to hover the log out button though because i did see a pk out and that slightly stresses me out especially when i've got two mil in the looting bag on top of the avarice so yeah let's avoid getting killed Okay, we have a PK, but he's only. What's he doing? Uh, but he's only 60 range, pure as well, so probably not going to be the best, which is good for me. Means I'll probably quite easily get away. And we won't lose our uh, Avarice, which will be nice. I like that I can fight back against the Peers a bit as well, because they've got like no defense. Look, I like absolutely shred them with the crossbow. Go on, die. Next one. No, stop praying, smite. What? <laughs> Make sure to log out on the out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the dragon, the double dragon plate slave plate. Oh, no, no, no. Go on, I'll try that one again. The double dragon plate skirt and double dragon plate legs drop looks even better as a note because, you know, it's not taking up two slots in the end band. It's just going in the looting bag, minding its own business, and it's 320k in pure cash. So nice. Oh, a nice little one mil totem. We take those. Might not even bank because I'll be more bothered about losing the avarice than that. Uh, yeah, I'll stay. Why not? Oh fuck, we could be in trouble here. Right, he doesn't have the agility level, but he is, well, he kind of does, he's 70. So if he has um, Summer Pies on him, he does have the agility level. He doesn't seem great to me, to be honest, so we might get away with it. I probably shouldn't be so arrogant as to try and pick up those eight. Oh, nice. Void Waker. Ah, I'm slightly nervous. Come on. Okay, he does have pies. Uh, I don't think we got the got the gap there. No. Okay. Really don't want to lose this avarice. Uh, oh, I might get the log. 
Yes. Oh, okay. We good. We good. We good. Oh, I'm stressed. That was stressful. Okay, I would say very much to go go time to go to the bank with this invent and that looting bag. <laughs> that would have been such a sad death, especially considering I've lost the avarice as well. Brutal, but I'm glad I escaped. Right, here we go guys. It's a uh it's the last kill before we hit the milestone. Sixty thousand revenant kills someone please tell me the odds of getting 13 weapons and one of them not being the mace that seems like the odds must be extremely bizarrely like unlikely to me uh, let's just get one more kill just for good luck go on be something good never lucky Right, <laughs> what's a couple of weeks? So the main thing I'm actually quite happy about is I managed to keep hold of my avarice for, you know, 600, 700 kills there. Not too bad, I would say. Um, let's chuck everything into the bank. See the bank value, 815 mil in the loot tab. 899 rune plate legs. That 1,000 rune plate legs meme is looking... Actually, not too bad to be honest. 893 mil total bank value. Bearing in mind, I've lost two crossbows, three amulets of avarice, and I've spent a good 50 odd mil at a minimum, probably more like 60, on getting 95 magic. So, yeah, it's looking highly likely that in the next video we will become the first ever extreme one chunk billionaire. But that's that would be a pretty cool milestone anyway. I would like to give a big shout out to the channel members who, as always, well, not as always, starting with our newest channel member, Patrick Wright, who joined at the Legend tier. So a big thank you to him. Um, as always, we've got the big man himself, LS, loving that guy, as always. And then we've got the Amethyst tier members, Fontcest, Sir Yolo, and Talfine. The Rune tier members, Krito and Fireball Tech. And the Legend tier members, Elpinin, Cum Crumpet, Teeters, and obviously Patrick Wright. And we have the Gold tier members, some of our longest tier members here. Massively appreciate all these guys. Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asher Anchor, Dominique G, and Spooky Pasta. A huge thank you to all of those guys. I hope you everyone enjoyed this video. The next one, I can feel in the next one that it's going to be great. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.